So, on my video about Friday Night Funkin's coming update, Love or Logic actually asked a really good question. How good is my PC? And this is a good question because the issues I talked about having experienced in week 7, you would think would be exclusive to lower-end computers, right? Well, we're gonna take a look inside this thing and see what exactly is powering it. And yes, I put an Apple sticker on a Windows machine. Deal with it. Reveal. Yeah, there we go. So the glare from the sunlight outside is making this kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna walk you through some of the most vital components here. This motherboard, if I can read it off my laptop to the side, is an MSI B450M Pro VDH Max Micro ATX AM4. Um, I mean, it's a motherboard. Um, doesn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth though, which is, uh, I hope to upgrade to one that does have that at some point. These two sticks of RAM are 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM. Underneath this Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim CPU cooler is an AMD Ryzen 5 uh, 3600. This graphics card right here is an Asus GeForce RTX 2060. And I know a lot of people will scoff at this because it's a last-gen graphics card, but... Come on, guys. Y'all are really sleeping on last-gen processors. I'll show you what this graphics card and this CPU are capable of at the very end. Down here, we have a Corsair RM650X uh, fully modular power supply. I believe this is my... No, the SSD is up here. This SSD is a Crucial MX500 500GB 2.5-inch solid-state drive. It's the one that I use as my boot disk, and it makes startups extremely fast. Then down here, we have an HDD. This is the Seagate Barracuda Compute 2 terabyte, 3.5 inch, 72 RPM HDD. Uh, this is where I keep most of my data. And finally, this big monolith of death case with the Apple sticker on it, is a Corsair 200R ATX mid-tower case. So yeah, that's everything that's inside my PC. I'm gonna blow all the dust off of it, and then I'll show you what exactly this hardware selection is capable of. All right, are y'all still following along? Good. Now I'm gonna walk you through some of the peripherals I have connected to my system. First off, we have got the 80 ohm Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros with an Antlion ModMic Uni attached. This monitor is a 1080p 144Hz ASUS Tough Gaming Monitor. The keyboard and mouse are the Logitech G502 Hero and the Logitech G815 Light Sync with uh, clicky low-profile switches in it. And I also have two webcams plugged into this thing. This is a Logitech C270 and this is a Logitech C922. And yes, this thing has the funny mic. And finally, this is what this computer is capable of running. We have got several Chrome tabs here. It is also running the face tracking software that I use when I do VTuber stuff on streams. And it is also running Discord and modded Risk of Rain 2. It's, it's not responding because I just launched it and it's trying to load. There we go. Now, Risk of Rain is running nice and smoothly. Oh, is that not enough proof of this PC's capabilities? Well, then let me remind you that it was doing that all at once, and it is also capable of streaming and recording all of that via Streamlabs. So, how good is my PC? I don't know. You tell me. I feel like with all the components I have in here, and with all of this that it can do, it should be more than capable of running Friday Night Funkin' Week 7 smoothly. But let me know what you think.